Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Melissa. Today's video is just gonna be super casual. I'm gonna do a sit down haul of all of the home stuff that I've picked up so far before it's all put away in its place. I have put away some of the things already, so I'll insert like little video clips when I talk about those. I just thought this video would be helpful for anyone else who's moving or going to be moving or just needs house stuff, I guess. But I feel like I found a bunch of good stuff and I'm really excited about it. There's a few things I'm still gonna get and there's furniture on the way. I totally forgot to talk about these chairs, so I'm just filming this clip after. But I found these at Target and if you guys go to Target online, they have so much home stuff and like prices are reasonable and everything. So I will link these below. I like that they have a back and then this cushion, so they're actually pretty comfortable. I didn't want the backing to kind of block off this space because this is like right when you walk in. So I like that the backings aren't too high and you can like see through them. And they fit perfectly under here and I think they look really nice. I'll start with Bed Bath & Beyond. They're really good for random little things that you need, not so much like decor, but I got a few things there. I picked up a spice rack, which is actually super helpful. I keep my spices in these little Ikea jars and before they were all just just placed in rows and they would get lost behind each other so this is really great because you can see all of the spices from the front. I also picked up a ladle which is super random. I don't make soups and stews very often but the few times that I have made them I've really missed having a ladle so pick that up. The brand is Good Grips and it feels pretty sturdy. I like it. This is from the same brand Good Grips and this is just a measuring spoon set. I have a teaspoon and a tablespoon somewhere. They might have got lost in the moving process but I've never had like a proper set and these ones are actually magnetic so they can stick together but you can easily remove them and I think that is all I got from there. Next up is Superstore and they actually have a pretty good home section. They have decor and then they also have like all of the things you would need for your bathroom and kitchen, miscellaneous things like light bulbs or whatever. I got this pillow from there. It's super soft. It's only furry on the one side. This side is just like fluffy, but it's really soft as well. And I'm wanting to do my bedroom white and gray. So I thought this could be a good like accent pillow. It might actually work in my living room as well, but I think I'm gonna use this as a bed pillow. I also got this coffee press and I'm obsessed with it. I threw out my old one because it had metal like all around and it got so rusty and it was impossible to clean. The rust transferred onto the glass and that was super hard to get off as well. So it was just looking really dirty and also it just let a lot of the grounds through the straining piece. Thought I would do a little upgrade. I think this one just looks very clean and I don't really know what word to use for a coffee press, but I think it looks pretty cool. I also got this mini whisk for drinks. I think this is technically called a milk frother. I've been wanting one of these for a while. If you guys make bulletproof coffee, this is really good for blending in your add-ins. Um, I also take this powdered green supplement and when you try to mix it with liquid, it just gets really clumpy. So I thought this would be good for that. It'll just make it easier to digest or uh, avoid the flavor. I hate getting like the chunks of green. It's so gross. Tika, you're being rude. Just chill out. No one likes a barking dog. I feel like I got a few other things from Superstore. I got garbage bags, which is really boring. I literally just got back from HomeSense and that is where I found these cute laundry bins. I got two of them. I wanted two matching ones and it was actually really hard to find laundry baskets that have lids. A lot of them are just open baskets. I think these are gonna be kept in my bedroom so I really wanted one that would hide the mess that's inside. So this one's really cute and it just has like easy to open flap lid and I like the color of it. It actually came in a dark gray and a black as well. I think that this color will look best in here. I wanna keep the colors pretty light. Oh, the medium, like the medium dark gray would probably look nice too. I can always go back and change them, but I think I'm gonna stick with these ones. So yeah, the other ones back there, I just got two of these. And these are from the brand Madison Art. HomeSense always brings in new things, so if you guys go there, they might not have it, so I don't know if you could go directly to this brand. They were $35 comparable to $55. I also got two pillowcases from HomeSense. These were only $10 and it's 100% organic cotton. I wanted to have two white pillows and two gray pillows. Maybe I wanna do a darker gray though. It's so hard picking shades and then when you stick with one color, like trying to get all the shades to match is hard. I also picked up a set from Ikea that's a different shade of gray. I just wanted to see them both in here and then decide. Anyways, I'll show you guys the other set too and then I'm gonna return one set and keep the other one. This is the other set that I bought. This is actually a comforter set and two pillows. I 
really haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm just like bringing things in and then I'm gonna return something. Like I almost think the dark looks better because this is almost too light and it's not contrasting enough. Gonna decide between those two. The darker set is from Ikea, so I'll show you guys what else I picked up from Ikea. Tika's literally like sleeping and snoring now, and like two seconds ago she was barking her head off. I got one of these baskets. This style of basket is super popular right now. On lots of like designer home stores, they have these, but like the bottoms are painted. So you could easily DIY this and just like paint the bottom. And they go for like 40 or $50. And you can get this at Ikea for, uh, I don't know how much it was. I feel like it was like between 10 and 15, but it is the flattest basket. And I'm just gonna put a plant in this and I think it's gonna look really cute. I also got two of these baskets. These are the Canara. Can anyone properly say Ikea names? They're so hard to say. These were $10 and I'm gonna use these in the kitchen, but I'm not putting kitchen stuff in them. Um, I just need more storage for random stuff. So I will be using these and I think that they will be helpful with organizing stuff. And then I also got a wooden spoon because I only have like one or two mixing spoons and I just feel like I always need another one. It was like two or three dollars. And then I think this is the last item. I actually picked up two of these. I had to go to two different locations to get a matching set, but this is from Pier One Imports. I'm gonna be using these to store my products in my bathroom. I have a little shelving unit. They were $25 each, which isn't too bad for a like cute basket. I don't know, baskets can be really expensive for some reason. So yeah, I thought this would be just a nice little decor piece that works as storage as well. I think that's everything. I still wanna get a whole bunch of plants and I'm probably gonna need to get a few more decorative pillows and stuff. But for the most part, that's all that I'm getting besides the furniture that's on its way. That's like the main things. I still have a lot of organizing to do, but I'm very excited to get everything together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. I'll try to link things down below, although I don't know how many of these things are gonna be available online, but I'll like make a list and say where everything's from in case you guys missed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.